If you didn't know, Drew is really bad at playing any sort of classic RTS. I guess I'm gonna start off this episode by speaking to myself in the third person. That's kind of weird. Uh, but I still wanted to show off Coast X3, and if you guys like this video, then I'll come back and play more of the campaign. So let's go over the menu options. We've got a campaign mode, just a random map mode, multiplayer, as well as a map editor, which I think is pretty fun. Obviously, we can mess with the settings and things like that, uh, load game, and then, you know, you can have multiple profiles, and this is how you can save them into the game. Um, there are four different, I'm sorry, four? What? No, there's 12 different countries you can play as, and uh, actually that's a good reason why we should open up this, because uh, we can see all the countries. Austria, France, England, Spain, Russia, Ukraine, Poland, Sweden, Prussia, Venice, Turkey, and Algeria. And it all takes place within the time period of, like, uh, EU4, Europa Universalis, Universalis 4. So, um, I guess late game for, th for that, but um, maybe, maybe even Vicky 2, kind of. But, uh, yes, I'm definitely not going to be playing on impossible mode. Uh, no way. Actually, uh, we'll be doing the tutorial just to kind of show off very briefly some of the basics of, of combat and things like that. But, yeah, as I said, these there's a pretty in-depth campaign. I mean, obviously, you can select one of these and then go deeper. Siege of Belgrade, uh, Holy League, Conquest of Italy, things like that. And, and it all depends on, you know, Cossacks' gain to fame, um, you know, certain battles, fall of Kaffa, war in... Uh, in Inflanti? I've never even heard of that before. Okay, so anyways, uh, let me let me show off. Like I said, some of the RTS war mechanics. This is something that you should be used to if you're if you played like kind of Age, Age of Empires, um, Age of Mythology. You know, like all the classic real time strategies. Uh, somewhat, you know, somewhat similar here. And uh, so they're gonna go around showing us a few of the unit types. So obviously these are gonna be our pikemen. They're going to be like the raw power here. Um, in this tutorial mode, we start off just kind of looking at the different formations. And luckily, it is a tutorial, so I, I don't have to be completely destroyed. Uh, again, this is only going over the combat of the game. I'm not going to be touching upon some of the peace aspects, but, you know, this is that's something that even I kind of knew about. You know, building mills, building shipyards, building uh, uh, farms and mines and things like that to kind of be able to, to, to get up an army of this size. Pretty important. All right. Um, mounted musketeers. We should be taking out a few AI units. I guess we're going to be going after a couple. I'm not sure if the, if this uh, campaign will end immediately. What was that? That was, that was weird. All right, so it's time to move some units. I hope I'm moving the right units. So we're going to move them right there. And uh, we've got some enemy units just chilling. We've got their general and their drummer. We've, so I think our pikemen are supposed to be... Well, our pikemen are probably going to fight their pikemen. Actually, no. We're going to fire cannons on them. Very well. Let them stand for their, their grounds. Uh, you know, obviously, there's different option types. Stand ground. Oh, I guess we already... Wow. We, we've already... <laughs> we already zoomed through that first one. And uh, now this is the time period where we get to attack with our cannons. So I'm going to move up this way. Actually, probably shouldn't be putting my cannons like that far forward, but let's have him attack. Again, because this is the tutorial, um, we shouldn't be seeing... There we go. We shouldn't see them move. I'm hoping not, at least. And then we're going to absolutely just ravage these guys. You'll see very soon, but yeah. So we're taking these guys one, one by one. Obviously, if this was a real game, they, they wouldn't just be... They wouldn't just be sitting there. But this is kind of fun, you know? I'm glad. Um, I don't think I can, I don't think they will allow me to move anything else, will I? Uh, fire enemies, be careful. Oh, do I have to keep going? Oh. Don't tell me I gotta move up forward, because that's, uh, yep, I can't move these guys. <laughs> We're just, like, pushing the, the cannons, like, straight up forward. Hey, can you not? You should probably not do that. Has someone told you? Oh, okay. Wow, okay, well, that... That worked out. This is the part that I like. We take all of uh, all of our cavalry units, and then we go after these guys who are totally not meant to take on cavalry. So these are faster, which means that uh, it's better to race with these guys instead of the pikemen. I like that they went around. That was nice. Oh, you guys are so dead. And there we go. Pretty nice sound. I mean, I really like. Obviously, the sound in this game is great. And we're just ravaging these guys because they weren't, they're not, they're not, they're not meant to take on horseback melee units like that. Horseback melee units. 
would love to explore more of the uh, the ship combat because having this like huge ship of the line is really cool and it is ship of the line it's Sweden's ship of the line I don't know it's hard for me to look at ship of the lines now being anything else but but England but you know it happens these things move very very slowly though and we're losing like a lot of money but I'm sure they gave us enough time to be okay so that so there's like coastal raids here with this ship I wish we had another ship because that I don't know naval invasion would be really fun that's kind of one of my favorite parts about this all right and then now we just have to uh, you know obviously these are something else like I I'm used to at least even me who's not a very in-depth uh, very knowledgeable I guess I should say RTS player you know I know the whole like you know hotkey to move around one two and three we can switch that up I can select these guys here make them control four that's very useful all right so let's take let's take our pikemen and go after these guys here they come let's get in front of our cannon units first of all let's also select some of my mounted units I actually don't know if these are I don't know which one you, you guys are but come over here and then and then I'll get the final ones maybe we won't even use our entire I guess we don't have to what are you oh we also have some more pikemen here perfect so you'll be five and uh, and then come out over here my artillery is doing nothing that's not good <laughs> this is really loud well things seem to be going pretty well for us obviously um, artillery is like one of the uh, they, they say in the window artillery is one of the most important things to get a grasp of that's that's how you're gonna get most of your kills and now we just have to go kill this leader here this general uh, we're kind of running out of units aren't we I'm pretty sure that's all we have to really do well if we kill their drummer their organization is gonna be screwed this guy's coming out there on the front lines oh he's dead he is totally dead and I I know I probably should have had I I'm not messing with formation at all I totally should uh, I could select this drummer here use his guard but I don't think we necessarily need that and there we go um, so I think that's that's all we that really is all we can do inside of the tutorial um, but I thought it gave like a kind of a good I think this gives like kind of a good representation of what the game is like uh, again I, I don't really have much knowledge in in RTS's but I still wanted to play this because it looks really really cool um, I just love the time period and I love being able this guy is just going hardcore can we chase him down with some Oh, okay and then there we go can I keep going will you make me escape dang it anyways <laughs> Very brief overview of Coast X3, but uh, if you guys would like to see me continue to, you know, come back to Coast X3 again, I didn't have enough time really with the game to be able to, to really wrap my brain fully around everything, um, but I, I still wanted to be able to, you know, I still want to release a video for today, uh, but I definitely like it, definitely enjoyed it. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think, and, um, and as I said, I might come back for uh, another video. There were definitely a lot of people that were suggesting this game to me on Twitter and Instagram and things like that. And uh, and hopefully I, I get to return. Uh, this has been a pretty crazy week um, for, for the channel. So uh, I hope to, to return within the near future. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.